Just as the body has to have food, the mind has to have food as well. Food for the mind is the, primarily the good intentions you have. That's health food for the mind. The junk food for the mind is all the things that the mind just goes running after. Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, this is pretty, this is nice. I like this, I don't like that. That kind of stuff is junk food for the mind. And if you keep feeding the mind with junk food, then it's energy is going to fall. The energy here is the energy of conviction, conviction that your actions really do matter. And your actions make the difference between whether you're going to be happy or not happy in this lifetime and lifetimes to come. So you do your best to be as skillful as you can in what you do and say and think. Mindful to keep this principle in mind. Concentrated on what's really of good value in your life. And finally having the discernment to know that there may be things that you like to do, but they're going to give bad results in the long term. So you have the discernment to say no to yourself and make the no stick. As for things that you don't like to do, but they're going to give good results, we have you have the discernment to talk yourself into wanting to do them. When you have these things, okay, then your mind is strong. You can live anywhere and be in any condition, and you maintain your inner strength. And the meditation here is one of the ways it's food for that inner strength, by giving rise to a sense of well-being inside. You stay with the breath when it's comfortable, make it comfortable if it's not, and then stay right there. And the mind that has the irritation that would make it do unskillful things, that irritation is going to go. You're feeling good inside, and you start thinking about going with your greed or aversion and delusion and begin to wonder why. You can see the long-term results and you realize you don't want them. But you've got something better right here, the well-being that you can create inside. So you want to stick with this. This conviction here is strength for the mind. And you feed it through the practice of generosity, virtue, and concentration. That way the strength of the mind will be able to stay stable and solid, even though the strength of the body may ebb and flow. But you want the strength of your mind to be solid, and you're in charge of making sure that it is. <laughs>